Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. <laughs> Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. I can't put it towards how amazing this view is. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth-watering foods that only this great state has to offer. So can we dig in? I'm like seriously the happiest person ever right now. Why you ask? Well, to simply put it, you only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your go-to guide for things to do and places to see all around the Lone Star State. I'm your host AC, and we are so excited to share this episode with you today. When it comes to the holiday season, you know we've got you covered. For instance, ever been to San Antonio's Ford Holiday River Parade or Bernie's Dickens on Main? Well, sit back and relax because it's coming up later in the show, but first, if you're anything like me, Christmas shopping is a bit of a struggle trying to come up with the perfect gift. But like I said, we've got you covered. For our next destination, we take a deeper look into some of the best bags in the entire U.S. And lucky for us, their factory just happens to be right here in Texas. So what do you say, y'all? You guys ready to visit the Masters and handcrafted leather goods? Well, good, because they're seriously the best. San Antonio right in front of John Hart Design Factory and just inside are some of the most beautiful bags in the whole entire country and with half a century of experience I think it's safe to say that these folks definitely know what they're doing. Let's go meet them. From the luggage to the handbags to everything in between, John Hart Design has been creating one-of-a-kind handcrafted products for over 45 years. Up first, we talked with John Hard Design COO, Sharon, to get the inside scoop on this classic brand. It really is a quality product that is timeless, right? It's not gonna go in and out with the trends and people add to it, generations add to it, to where it really does become a legacy within a family. And then we also use coated canvas, which is really, really durable and stands the test of time. Nice, yeah. nice, sounds lovely. And 45 years in existence, what's the secret? So in my mind, it's not just the products because anyone can make handbags or luggage or what have you. I think that and as you'll see when you walk through the plant, there's just something magical about it, right? It's not made out on a machine in another country. It is people stitch by stitch putting love into it and for some reason that comes through and it really, really does make the product special. wonder what exactly goes into making one of these beautiful bags? Well, we're about to find out. So this is where all the magic happens, huh? That's right. And these are all the magicians? You got it. <laughs> so right here we have people that are taking the leather hides and they cut strips out of it to make the straps and all of the accent pieces. And so these guys are actually hand sewing the straps together that will later be put on the bag. So this is actually the beginning of the manufacturing process and it's kind of neat because almost literally one side of the building is using a lot of really great technology while the other is still using a lot of hand craftsmanship. So wow. we have machines over here that are actually cutting the patterns that will be sewn together. Okay. And then you have people over here that are actually clicking out leather pieces that wow. will be sewn to the items later. Quite a number of people in here. Yeah, that's right. They amaze me. So we have about 60 sewers. You know, sewing is one thing, that's hard enough, but right. sewing all of the different materials together, okay. coated canvas and leather and zippers and fleece all together at the same time, yeah. that's not an easy task. All right, so Josie here, she volunteered to help this out and show us how to hot stamp one of the bags. So first set, place in center. Gonna wet it and then lightly and tap pull. it. After touring inside their factory and meeting the skilled craftsmen and women, it's easy to see why the John Hart Company has endured the test of time. These products are made by Texans for Texans right here in Texas. 
Hey, not bad for a first timer, right? And if this day couldn't get any better, they're actually letting me keep this, y'all. But we are just getting started. Next, we are heading over to one of the 600 retailers right here in Texas that sells John Hart Design products. So let's make our way. All right, so we are here in Dallas checking out one of the many shops here in Texas that sells the John Hart Design products. So y'all, welcome to Kid Biz, one of the places you can actually get your hands on some of these bad boys. Let's check it out. Kid Biz is the place to shop when it comes to your mini me's. This Dallas staple has been dressing and accessorizing folks of all ages for decades with a special section dedicated to John Hart. We've been selling John Hart since 1997. Oh. Probably one of the main reasons is, is that we believe it. As far as John Hart, they've done a great job of introducing new colors and new items. They've been able to maintain and keep those things fresh and that and for us that's really really important so we have over 600 retailers with most of them being in texas and it really is a great place to go because often they'll carry inventory and you know if they're carrying john hart they're carrying other good stuff too oh, yeah. it means they care about quality they care about where it's made how it's made lots of good stuff lots of great great retailers out there So some great gift items. Any of the of the travel uh, pieces are are fantastic. Right. The Burleson bag. Uh -huh. It's called the Burleson bag because uh -huh. John Hart is on Burleson Street oh. in San Antonio. Their John Hart inventory is extensive. Plus, you can have your custom bag stitched right there in the store. So you come in, you pick, pick out, out whatever you want, right. have it stitched right here in the store, and right. walk out have personalized gift or have something just for yourself, a gift to yourself as well. Absolutely. And we'll even wrap it as a gift for you. With so many products to choose from, I'm just gonna put eat em up cats. Eat em up cats. It was difficult to just pick one. Give me my future last name. So if you're looking for the perfect present to gift your loved one, look no further than Kid Biz and John Hart Design. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Alright y'all, this is going to be it for me today. I want to say thank you to Jay, Kid Biz, and of course John Hart for showing us around. I mean, it's not every day you have a slew of their products just wrapped around you. I gotta go wrap these babies up. I'll see you on the flip side. Create your own legacy by visiting johnhartdesign.com. Hey y'all, welcome back to the show where we're getting in the mood for Christmas by visiting some of the best holiday attractions Texas has to offer. And you can't quite call it a Texas Christmas if you don't make your way to San Antonio's Riverwalk. That's why for our next destination, we check out an annual celebration that's become a huge part of Christmas in the Alamo City. So join our Yellow Texas co-host Tessa at the 38th annual Ford Holiday River Parade. Anyone familiar with San Antonio has probably heard of the Riverwalk. This series of scenic walkways along the banks of the San Antonio River is considered the crown jewel of the city, connecting some of the city's biggest attractions, and year-round it's lined with folks from all over, enjoying the charming scenery and all the city has to offer. Come Christmas time, the Riverwalk is transformed with holiday lights and decorations with events that they host all season long, including tonight with the Ford Holiday River Parade. But before finding our seat along the river, we were able to chat with Executive Director Mandy Thompson. So it seems like a pretty packed night tonight. It's gorgeous. How many people are you expecting at this Holiday River Parade? Well, we're expecting a sellout. And so we have about 50,000 people that come down to the Riverwalk. They are on bridges, they're on paid seating, they're on free seating, they're all over the place. They're on streets, they watch it and they love it. And then it's syndicated to about a million people. Tell me a little bit about what we can expect from the floats. Year. Well, our theme is Christmas in San Antonio. It's a tricentennial theme, so it's all about holiday traditions. So all of the 
floats will represent some great tradition in San Antonio, like making tamales or hosting the military at your house. But my favorite is there's a song, one called Riverwalking, that um, has been gifted to the city. So uh, our royalty float, um, our singer Jefferson Clay, will be singing that song on uh, in the Arnson on the live broadcast. Awesome, and why is that float so special? Well, it's special because it, it hosts our Riverwalk royalty who represent us all year long, and it hosts our new song. And so we want everybody to know how special San Antonio and the Riverwalk is with this song. So we're definitely, this is the end of the year, but we're leaving it with a bang. The parade has been run every year since 1980, but this year is a particularly special one as the city celebrates its tricentennial. That's right, San Antonio is turning 300. You guys, nothing beats San Antonio during Christmas time. I mean, look at all these beautiful lights. To kick things off, up first was a Christmas music concert at the Arneson River Theater, a very unique San Antonio venue. The performances at the Arneson Theater really put me in the Christmas spirit. Now I found my seat by the beautiful San Antonio Riverwalk. So now, let the parade begin! Once the performance had finished up, the real show began with a parade of floats and the lighting of the Riverwalk. First float is coming! Everyone is like going crazy right now. Oh, that's Starbucks! How cool! <laughs> Nothing says San Antonio like mariachi. Well, we're a military family that just moved here from Okinawa, Japan. So we saw this when we moved to San Antonio in August, and I got tickets right away because I heard that it is really crowded and everyone comes to it, and it's like one of the top 10 parades in the United States. So. And my favorite part of the parade was seeing the big man himself. Hey you guys, Santa and Mrs. Claus are on their way. The last of the floats were making their way through the crowds and the parade was coming to an end. But just because the festivities were finished didn't mean there was any shortage of Christmas spirit to be found. Float after float, the Ford Holiday River Parade truly put us in the holiday spirit. And the creativity and uniqueness of each boat was simply magical. All right, guys, so I think that I speak for everyone here tonight when I say that this parade was so much fun. Special thanks to Maggie Thompson and South Texas Ford and everyone who was involved in putting this amazing parade together. As you guys can see, when you visit San Antonio and the Riverwalk during this time of year, it's absolutely beautiful. Night, y'all. For more events coming to San Antonio's biggest attraction, visit thesanantonioriverwalk.com. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas Holiday Edition. Okay, so does anyone remember Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol? I mean, it's a classic, y'all, and one of the greatest holiday stories ever told. Come on, it just wouldn't be Christmas without Tiny Tim and the Scrooge, am I right? Okay, so get this. There is a place right here in Texas that every holiday season completely dedicates to this classic Christmas story. So we sent our Christmas loving co-host Ariel out to the hill country to go check out this very popular holiday hotspot.
From the shopping to the carriage rides to the 60-foot slide of snow, Dickens on Main transforms Bernie's Hill Country Mile into a vintage winter wonderland for one incredible weekend every November. This amazing holiday extravaganza encompasses all the joyful festivities Christmas has to offer, allowing everyone, young and old, to feel the magic and get in the holiday spirit. I'm here on the Hill Country Mile in Bernie, Texas, and let me tell you, I literally feel like I walked into a Charles Dickens novel. The party is just getting started and it's going well into the night, so what do you say? Let's go check it out. First on our list of things to see and do, one of my favorite activities, shopping, and it's the perfect season for it. Hi, what do y'all have here? This is all grass from the jungles of Brazil, yeah. but it's naturally gold. Brazil that it can actually find grass this color. Ooh, look at those. Those are gorgeous. I think I'm going to wear those to my next Christmas party. So the sun hasn't even gone down and the festivities are already booming. I mean, take a look at these kids. They're having an absolute blast. After visiting some of the street's famously cute shops, we met up with Dickens on Main Director of Marketing, Kirk Thompson, to learn a little bit more about this unique holiday festival. Charles Dickens, we feel like, is almost the epitome of Christmas. So this event started 19 years ago with just some of the local shopkeepers dressing up in Victorian costumes, and it's grown and grown and grown, and it's turned into this. An entire street, blocks and blocks with villages everywhere, and we just wanted to really embrace that old old world vintage Christmas. This actually, it only happens once a year, right? Once a year, but it's every Thanksgiving weekend without fail. So next year will be our 20th anniversary of Dickens. Everyone spreads out, takes a walk around town. Everything's lit up. You get Victorian carolers and people dressed up in things to do. It's the perfect post Thanksgiving event. It's been amazing so far and it's really just getting started. What are some of the must sees at Dickens on Main? We have snow at Dickens on Main. We will have snow blowing all down Main Street. We have a snow area down here in Scrooge Village where we've actually blown in actual snow. We have a 60 foot ice slide so you can get a feel of sledding down. But the best part of all is just strolling down Main Street Grab a hot chocolate or your favorite drink. Look at the street performers, listen to the Christmas music. It's an experience you will not find anywhere else. Welcome back to the show where Ariel and crew are in Bernie, Texas, exploring the Hill Country Mile, which has been totally transformed into a Christmas celebration known as Dickens on Main. Now, we couldn't come out to Dickens on Main without getting to chat with Mr. and Mrs. Dickens. What has been your absolute favorite part about this tradition? Oh, I absolutely love watching the little girls. Their faces light up and lots of shops are open. So it's so much fun to shop tonight. There is a gentleman that has memorized the Christmas Carol. He does the whole play, Christmas Carol. He does all the parts and he's just amazing. So there's lots of things to do out here. So here's a question for y'all. What do y'all think is one of the most popular events here at Dickens on Main? Do you need a hint? It involves ice and chainsaws. This is gonna be good. This over here is an ice sculpting competition. Obviously there were no chainsaws back in Dickens day, but it's ice sculpting. I mean, you can't say no to that. So after seeing a block of ice come to life, it was time to pay a visit to the man of the hour, good old St. Nick. Santa, thank you so much. I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions and then I'll get to the really All good stuff. Right. Who's your favorite reindeer? Donder. What's your favorite Christmas carol? Silent Night. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, now I here's- I love Christmas. Me too. 
and I think I've been really good this year, and I have a few things that I'd like to ask. You. All right. Okay. First off, we work with Yolo, Texas. Yolo, so, Texas. You only live once. So if we could go national, that would be awesome. But, Great show. Oh, thank you. Great show. I think so too. And then the last thing, if you can make it happen, would be super awesome. If you could get me cast in a Hallmark Christmas movie. That would have be amazing. Have you tried out? I haven't. They told me I needed connections, and I figured, why not come talk to Santa? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> let me go to work for you. Oh, well, thank you so much, Santa. We hope you have a very, very, very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. And a Happy New Year to you all. After we talked to the big guy, we had the opportunity to chat with some of the festival goers who were definitely getting into the holiday spirit. Loving it. There's tons of stuff. The kids are having a great time. The attractions that they have, they have the really cool shows, the, the sledding, the snowball fighting. It's a really good family experience. You definitely create a lot of memories here. What has been your favorite part about today? Being on the carriage ride. I got to play in the snow and it was really cold. But before we headed back to the studio, I had to grab myself a delicious hot cocoa float. All right, y'all, I had an amazing time. I got to do some shopping, I got to see some great performances, and I got up close and personal with Santa. If you're ever in the Bernie area next year, you have to put Dickens on Main on your list. As for now, I'm gonna enjoy my hot cocoa and take in the rest of the festival. Start planning for next year's premier holiday event and check out the beautiful hill country all year long by visiting the links below. Hope you enjoyed this week's holiday episode. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. If you happen to miss any previous shows, visit our website at yolotx.com for past videos. And of course, follow us on our next journey through our social media sites. Until next week, remember, it's a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. Happy holidays, y'all. Hey, <laughs> I burned it, I'm sorry. <laughs> the hog with bells and honey rocking around the Christmas tree. Now this is the classic. <laughs> okay. Two, three. <laughs>